morning how's everyone today i hope everyone is doing good let's get started shall we a little flustered i want to start at 15 minutes earlier but computer issues anyway let's get started ladies and gentlemen if you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth whether you're on this planet or any other planet whether you're in this universe or any other universe whether you're in this dimension or any other dimension you have found the one and only the factory original bb80 yours truly mr positively the silly man himself backward bloom 80 what's going on how y'all doing hope everyone is doing well i am doing pretty good can't complain I hope everyone had a wonderful hey Spidey how are you doing um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Father's Day if you were celebrating Father's Day whether you're a father to a human or a father to a uh, an animal or to whatever happy Father's Day happy belated Father's Day I hope everyone is well um, sorry for the 15 minutes late start time uh, could not connect to the internet no matter what I was doing no internet it kept saying no internet no internet no internet I'm here. We made it. Always crash through. Always force it to make it work. Yeah. So, happy Father's Day. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was a good day. Uh, can't complain. I know I struggled a little bit with my anxiety, but I pushed through, and we're here. We're going to get warmed up. Let's get started. Got a lot to go through. Not a lot to go through, but you get my point. 30 minutes exercise. It's going to be good. It's going to be strong, and it's going to get ourselves where we need to be. All right, start timer, stretches. Ah, I am completely sore because what I did yesterday for Father's Day is I worked in the yard all day long. About four hours of heavy lifting of bags, bending, squatting, scooping, picking things up. So my legs are not happy with me today. My lower back's not happy with me today. But guess what? I'm still exercising, I'm still pushing through. One of the other things I did, I didn't show up on Saturday. Shame on me. Shame on me for not showing up on Saturday. Anxiety was really beating me up. I was like, you know what? I'm not pushing myself. No, no, no. But one of the things I did do on Friday, on Friday I went for a run. And one of the things that I noticed, I'm getting good at the cardio and getting myself good here in this controlled environment. Run for three minutes walk for three minutes, stretch for three minutes, whatever the case is, then I stop. Went out for a run for three miles. I noticed that my breathing wasn't the way it should be. So one of the things, if you're getting ready, if you're getting in shape like I am to do a run, you gotta start including your running. You're gonna have to really work on your breathing. So you breathe in through your nose, you breathe out through your, uh, and, and mouth at the same time, nose and mouth at the same time and control that and then get your pace. So when you're running, make sure your pace is good. I didn't have any pain on my uh, my legs. I didn't have any pain in my, uh, any parts of my body while I was running, but I was noticing my breathing was not in sync. I'll read your comment in just a second. Um, so when you're out there running, watch, practice, practice your breathing. If you're trying to run, train to run, practice your breathing. If you don't practice your breathing, you're going to end up getting frustrated because you're going to be out of breath, and then you're going to end up not wanting to do it. So it's important that you get out there before a race to see how you're doing, to see how your breathing is working. If you're congested like I was that day, it makes it a lot more difficult. So you gotta make sure you're prepared for all situations, all circumstances. Get myself more in for you. You can see I'm on my tiptoes, so I stretch. Coming down for the last 15 seconds. So work on your breathing in the environment that you're gonna be working out in. If you're running, 
Work on your breathing while you're running. There's the timer. Exercises like this and running are different. They're quite different than Trezellas. How you doing? Yeah, at the gym walking right now. Thank you. I'm glad to see that. I was coincidentally I was just talking about running. I went for a run on Friday. And I was noticing that my breathing was not where I needed to be for a runner. So that's what I was talking about during the warm-up is hey. Breathe. Make sure you work on your breathing if you're going to go for a run to do a race like I'm doing. So breathing through your mouth and your nose at the same time, get a good deep breath and then breathe it out and continue that pace. You got to work on your lung capacity and going is <laughs> not going to get you anywhere. You need to be and then work on your pace as you're running out there to keep that breathing consistent where you got enough and then work on going faster. What I mean by faster is running faster and keeping the same breaths. Because if you're able to do that, that means you're going to go faster and your lung capacity is increasing because it's like, okay, I don't need as much breath because I'm used to this pace. And then keep pushing the pace, you get faster and faster and faster. But uh, yes, welcome, good morning. Zealous, I don't know if you're a father or not, a father of a, of a person or a father of an animal, but if you are, happy belated Father's Day to you. All right. So we did the stretches, we got started, we got warmed up. I take a little bit of, it's really humid today. I'm gonna do the push-ups. Before I do anything else, I'm doing the 25 push-ups. You and my arms are dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. You know my arms are jelly from yesterday working up. I'm doing the push-ups first <laughs> because last time doing those battle ropes, my little arms are just completely dead. Fifteen more. One, two, three. Four, five, whew. Arms hurt so badly. I don't know why my arms are killing me so bad. Maybe because of the workout yesterday. I'll read your comments in just a second. Sorry about that. 10 more, 10 more. You got this balloon. One, two, three, four. Five. Whew. I gotta get better with these push-ups. Should be better by now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. A minute to spare, I'm getting faster. But there's the 25 push-ups that I promised. Let's go, yes, exactly, let's go. Yeah, heavy breathing is normal for starting runners, exactly. New blood vessels need to form, get wider from light jogging, exactly. I start my exercises with push-ups, good to know, thank you. I've noticed while doing heavy cardio, what, why is it paused? Okay. I've noticed while doing heavy cardio, sometimes my ears get blocked up. It happens. The congestion in your head, it's got to go somewhere. And that's what happens with me. It usually goes here to my nose, sometimes to my ears. You can take an allergy medicine if you have allergy medicine that works for you over the counter. That sometimes works for me. Sometimes I just... I just ignore it and work through it because the allergy medicine is not working. Tip miss for me. All right. I'm going to go to bicycle. It's, uh, I'm not going round and round like a bicycle. I'm just going back and forth. Okay? 
Keep my head off the mat. Going back and forth. Keep pushing through, folks. Keep pushing through. That works your lower back. It works your legs. Top part of your legs. This part right here. I have my hands under my bum, as you know. still a little tight. I'm going to stretch it a little bit. Please continue on without me if you're following along. It's important that if you're not fully stretched, that you fully stretch. Don't want to get an injury. Making sure I did turn on the timer. It's Monday. <laughs> Sometimes you forget these things. Exercise. It's preferable to do both, but just keep moving. There's the timer. Make sure you're hydrating. Make sure you keep it up with hydration. So they're going to catch up comments real quick, if any. All right. No comments. Okay, cool. Restart timer. Leg scissors. I'm watching the timer. I'm going 30 seconds on one leg, flipping over, doing 30 seconds on the other. You can have your arm up high, make it harder for yourself. You can keep it down on your side like I had mine. You notice, I'm trying not to touch my foot, I'm trying to keep it up in the air and continue on as I watch the timer. Thirty seconds each side is what I'm doing. I see some comments, I'll read your comments in just a second. But yes, let's go. Keep going. Keep pushing. Mm. Try not to touch my foot, but I'm touching. I know I am. I feel it. There we go. Next side.
Try to keep my hand on my leg. Try and keep your leg straight. Don't be like this with the leg bent. Keep it straight. Oh. All right. Oh, I feel the workout right here. Also right here on the inside as well. I feel it. Last side, the buzzer. Man, that hurts. Can do this if you can. I can't. Great, here comes the mosquitoes to say hello. Oh, I'm sweaty. Whew. I'm giving out, it's hurt. Ah. There's the timer. Perfect timing. Oh. All this is on fire. I woo we. Hold on one second. Stay hydrated, folks. Stay hydrated. Take a little bit longer break if you need to. If you're feeling a little woozy, don't push yourself. I felt a little dizzy when I stood up, so slow it down. There's no reason. Got you, you blood sucker. There's no uh, reason to hurt yourself. All right, let's look at, ooh, comments. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I hated bicycles when I first started. Bicycles are so good for you, Zealous. I understand how you would hate them because of the legs that hurt so much, but man, it is so good for you. Do you take whey protein bloom? Yes, I do. It's called, uh, I'm gonna have uh, J. Rob's whey protein. 100% natural, J. Rob, J-A-Y-R-O-B. J. Rob's whey protein. I add it to milk, I blend it up, and I drink it after a good strong workout or after a run. I hate abs exercise. I think they're way too boring. They're hard on me. You can tell from my abs. <laughs> they're not. They're hard on me. I have lower back issues. I've always had lower back issues. <laughs> Falling through is very important when something is boring. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lini is here. What's up, Lini? Hello, keep inspiring, thank you. I'm taking a little longer break than I normally would lean in. I woke, I got up and I started feeling a little woozy, so I'm like, all right, back down. Whenever you feel a little woozy, take a longer break. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it at all. But make sure, most importantly, you're hydrating. If you don't hydrate, you're in trouble. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up. One, two, three, four, five, back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up. One, two, three, four, five. You get the idea. You can have your arms to the side. You can have them up front. And then back up. If this is too hard for you, bring your legs in closer. You can go like this, side to side if you want. You can have the weighted jugs, the water jugs in you. To make it even harder on yourself. You can have the backpack that has the water jugs in it. You can keep your arms above your head if you want.
Take longer breaks between squats if you need to. Have your hands down like such if it's too much. You don't have to always be in one position. You can alternate. I didn't do any side views. Side view. timer I was waiting for. Oof. We're really pushing those legs today. That's what we're supposed to do. Redeem hydrate. Yes, of course. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh yes, don't rush. Exactly. Here's the hydrate. Hmm. You'll notice I'm working on legs today, leg day. After working yesterday with mostly my arms, working on weed eating, pulling weeds, bending. You know how hot it was, my God, it was hot. You know what, I forgot to show you guys. Look, there's my bed head, uncombed head, balding. Let's mess it up a little more. Cause it's supposed to be bed head, you know? There we go. <laughs> My silliness is still with me. Yes. We're doing legs exercises today. I'm gonna go for the back. Then we're just gonna do kicks. 10, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, give as high kick as you can. One, two, see how I'm going back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You've seen how I get my foot back, how it's coming like towards you. One, keep your balance. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you see that? You see how I have my hands like fist mode? They're here up front. So I'm kicking. I'm not punching. Ugh. You can go one, two after your kick. Three, if you want. I not four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trying to get that kick as high as you can. I'm not on my mat on purpose. The mat will slip and I will fall. Don't get in a position where you can hurt yourself. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. You want to make sure. You want to make sure you keep your balance. There's a little better view for you. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try and keep your body straight. Don't be leaning like I was just doing. Try and keep it straight. Notice how I'm landing on my toe. So when I'm kicking forward, coming back, I'm on my toe. I'm not going flat foot. I'm not going one, two. I'm on my toe. I'm going one, two. I'm not dragging my foot and grabbing the ground either. Whew. Proud bed hair, yes, exactly. That's the name of the stream. Get out of bed hair. Back to high grade. See, another problem with exercising in your garage. Hi, how are you doing? Good seeing you. How's life with you, Mike? I'm uh, getting close to the end of my exercise stream, Mike. But great to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming in, at least saying hello. Problem with exercising in a garage, you have no air circulation. If you do have air circulation, you're circulating hot air. So it just makes it hotter for you. So try and keep the garage all the way open. I can't because then it blocks, it makes me like a shadow and all you see is the background. So this is the best I can do so you all can see me working out. The other thing is when you're working on breathing inside of a garage, you're getting a lot hotter than you are when you're running outdoors. Usually there's a breeze blowing. There's air that's going through that's helping you work on your breathing exercises, helping you run, helping you cool off. When you're running and it's hot, you want as tight as clothing as you possibly can. You want this to be like a second skin because that's going to cool you off. As you sweat, if you feel the sweat on the shirt, not on your skin, but when it's loose like this, you feel the sweat on your stomach, then it sticks and it makes you so much hotter. So always try and wear tighter clothes because the air that's in between is causing more heat right in here. So in winter, you want low, loose clothing. If you want to sweat more, you want loose clothing. But otherwise, if you're running out in the hot sun and there's no breeze, you want this to be skin tight. You want that shirt to be really, really tight, which you've seen me warm from time to time. It's because you're wanting to cool your body off quicker, not create that hot air pocket in between your shirt and you that makes it just so much hotter. Again, you're gonna sweat more. So as a result, you may get more water weight shed, but the whole deal is you wanna shed pounds. So. You know? Yes, that was my purposeful stall because I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I just woke up to say, hope you have a great day. I hope you do the same. Get two fans, one blowing uh, in and one blowing out. That's a good idea as well. But uh, when the temperature is so hot, you're then just pushing hot air in. If one's blowing out and one's blowing at you or in the direction of you, hot air in, hot air out, it just doesn't work. So, like I'm doing right now, you can see I'm completely drenched. It is uh, 91 in my garage, 91 degrees, which what is about 30 centigrade, I guess, for you in the UK or European nation. Well, if you're not in the United States, it's 91 in my garage. So you're noticing I'm taking more breaks. Mike, I hope you have a great day too, my friend. Thank you again. Take more breaks if you're in a very hot environment. One of the other things you can do when you're running outside as you're running to your destination, you can turn around and you can walk. You can pause and then start walking at a slower pace. Take a little sips of water. Keep working on breathing. You don't have to consistently be running. 
one of the ways that I train in heat is that, is I run as fast as I can for maybe about two minutes working and breathing, and after my watch tells me two minutes is up, I then just walk slowly, breathing, getting my heartbeat down. Slowly, getting my heartbeat down. Breathing and breathing. The reason for that is because you want to elevate your heart, push it to where it starts getting to where it's normal. So those sprints are really good for you when you're training to run. Those sprints will get your heart to where it's not at 150. It'll be like the sprint is running as hard as he can. The heart plateaus at a lower red level because it's getting used to you. Like Zella said, it's getting the uh, veins open, the arteries open, letting that oxygen in, letting more oxygen in, pumping more blood through your system quicker so you have quicker recovery. If you start feeling like you're cramping up, stop. Whatever you do, don't continue. Work that cramp out. If you try to run through it and try to ignore it, you will pull a muscle. It will hurt you and you will be sidelined. Do not push through. I know what it's like to be on a course running and you get that cramp and you're like, I want to finish and you push through. I got an injury that put me on the shelf for six months because I blew out my knee because I ignored an injury while I was running on the course during a race. I was like, I'm finishing this beast. I'm not gonna stop. Six months. I hated every minute. If I would have stopped and I would have walked the rest of the race or quit and asked for medical assistance, I wouldn't have hurt myself. Don't do that to yourself. Listen to your body. Don't be a novice. Make sure you're listening to what your body says. All right, what's my time? Whew. Exactly. Whew. All right, we got two minutes, 15 seconds. Now I'm just gonna go jogging round and round. Not a heavy jog, just light. Working on the breathing. When that timer goes off, we'll do the cool down and we'll end stream. If you have someone you want me to raid, put it in chat. If not, I'll just uh, end stream like I normally do. What's up? How you doing? Hello to you. Almost getting done. I don't have my glasses on, so in a minute and a half, I'll read your name a little bit closer. So yes. Follow along if you like. Watch if you like. But I hope you're having a good morning. You see I'm modifying things up by turning around a little bit. Again, getting my cardio up. The easy stuff you can do at home. Easy stuff you can do. You can do it the other way around if you want. You can do the whole circles the other way around. All the way around. Just be careful of your surroundings. And you might get dizzy, like I am. So be careful the way you do it. And like I said, you can go back and forth. You got about 45 seconds. So keep working. Keep the pace up that you're at. Take breaks if you need to. Hydrate if you need to. Don't trip over your mat. If this is too much for you, walk. You're gonna do the same thing as walking. Walking's fine too. I prefer the cardio. You can do as you need, about 10 seconds folks, about 10 seconds. That should be timer. There it is. 
We're gonna go to the cooldown. Let me read chat. Looks like Sarah Polly 8. Nice to meet you. You're a trainer? No. Have a good day, Bloom. You too, Zealous. Thank you so much. I'm not a trainer. I'm a runner who's getting ready for a marathon. So I've been doing this exercise video to answer your question for uh, two and a half months now, almost three months. Two and a half months, three times a week. I come out, do leg exercises. I do cardio, do stretches, part yoga. I do lots of different things in order to motivate you guys and to keep myself going. So, yes. Am I a certified trainer? Not in any way whatsoever. But chat motivates me to continue to train because November will be here in no time. Running a marathon, no joke. I did it once, once. And it's been about four or five years since I did it. And I want to get to where I can complete it. When I started two and a half months ago, this is as far down as I could go on either thing, right below my knee. I couldn't stretch, I couldn't be flexible. Look now, toes, down the floor, palms, no bending of the knees. Because I've been stretching, I've been doing all my exercises consistently at least three times a week, sometimes more. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings I go for an hour. I'm here for 30 minutes on Monday and Wednesday. Saturday, I'm here for an hour to help motivate you. Yes, the tomato throws. Smash those tomatoes at me. Throw them at me. <laughs> so I'm here to motivate you because it helps motivate me. I work out of my garage. Now I'm in the United States. It is 91 degrees in my garage, so I'm sweating buckets. The reason why we call this the 30 minute get out of bed head exercise <laughs> thank you for thank you for the audio. It's because, as you can see from my balding head here, my hair is not combed. Give a closer look. My hair is not combed. I literally get out of bed, set up stream. See my balding head. I set up stream and I start exercising. I say, all right, guys, warm up. Now let's do the five core exercises. Then let's do the cool down. Meanwhile, hydrate between all of that. So. Yes, if I motivate you, fantastic. If I'm teaching you something, fantastic. But most of all, you motivate me, so thank you. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Let's do a cool down, folks. All right, cool down. Cool down is very, very simple. Breathe in, breathe out. Let your heart rate come down. Like you're shutting down the, the robots, like, down. Notice my arms are spaghetti noodles, like I say every time. I have my legs slightly bent. They're not locked in place. I'm letting my body hang. I'm breathing. Hello, Chrissy. What's up, dog? My dog is finally coming at the end of the stream to say hello. You can see her running in the background. Remember, lazily stretching to get the body to tell your body hey ah it's time to wind down Ayin what's up ending the stream Ayin but it's good seeing you my friend thank you for coming in Ayin has been playing Resident Evil 7 or or 8 I forget which Resident Evil she's been playing a Resident Evil lately I do Resident Evil today at lunch. I'm not looking forward to it, Aileen. I've seen how you're playing through it, and you inspire me, but golly, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it at all. So in four hours, yeah, in about four hours, come watch me get scared out of my mind as I do Resident Evil for one hour. Resident Evil 7, yuck. I will not be in VR. When I get to the 200 followers, VR will return for Resident Evil 7, and I'm going to hate every one of you all for doing it to me, but I'm going to love you at the same time. So, check out Resident Evil today. It's hot. We got about one more minute of cool down. One more minute of cool down. So, what I'm just going to do like such stretch, breathe. Yoga is very good for you. 
make fun of yoga all you want. I did yoga after not wanting to try it. And I swear, I've never been more sore in my life after doing yoga. This is easy. What are we doing here? Come on, this is boring. This is not doing anything for me. I'm not getting my cardio on. But man, the stretches that I got, the feelings that I got after doing yoga, I was like, oh my God, what did I get hit by a truck or something? The yoga put pain in my body that I didn't know that I had. So I don't make fun of yoga anymore. No more yoga making fun of yoga. Yoga is really, really good. All right, the timer is coming down to its last seconds. So thank you all for motivating me, for taking care of me, for coming out, saying hello. Whew, anyone to raid? Lini, are you live right now? Ayin, are you live right now? Anybody live right now? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll hit end stream and we'll go on till I come back at lunch. There's my hydrate. Not live right now, okay. I'm so late, to, no worries, no worries at all. So good luck with Resident Evil, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Let's see who's live. Let's see, do we have anyone that's live right now? Let's open Twitch. Cute puppy, thank you. She is a chug, chihuahua chug, uh, pug mix. Chihuahua pug mix. She's about eight years old now, almost eight years old. All right, I'm opening up a screen so I can see what's who's uh, who's online. No one's online. All right, that's okay. I don't know anyone that's online right now. That's okay. But that's cool. I don't know anyone that's All right, online. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and right, so Sarah Polly eight. Go nice ahead. seeing you. Nice meeting you. Sarah Hopefully you'll come back and say hello nice next time in the future. Mine will be ten this year. Oh, okay, very good. Well, I'm glad you're. Uh, this year. Okay, very good. You have to uh, post pictures or send links to pictures. I love looking at the dogs. Post pictures but, uh, or send links to pictures. I love looking at the dogs. But, uh, but thank you all. Much love to everybody. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Much love to Keep up the exercise and keep up the cardio. You're going to get better. Like I mentioned, be happy with the way you are. The only reason why I'm exercising because I'm trying to get better for the marathon and because I want to be in better health. That's all, you know, because look at the, the Williams sister, tennis players. They're a lot bigger body than I am, but my God, their cardio is to the roof. They're, uh, they're amazing. They'll make me look silly when it comes down to any kind of cardio or working out. So, so yeah, think about that. All right. Love you guys. Got to go. Why go forward? And of course, when you can go backwards. Have a great day, everybody. Hope to see you during my lunch stream today. Take care, everybody. Hope to see you. See ya, guys. Today. Take care, everybody. See ya, guys.